Namaste to everyone. We have started new series for current affairs. So in this series, our this lecture will be about the Paris Agreement, which is uh, initiated in 2015. So we'll be seeing everything about the Paris Agreement in this lecture. So we have already covered the global warming lecture. So please do subscribe our channel and if you have any suggestions please do mention those into comment section so let's start with this paris agreement here we have uh, the agreement is uh, initiated in 2015 the paris agreement builds upon the convention for the uh, to combat climate change and uh, adapt to its effects that is Paris agreement is about combat that is uh, mitigation and adaptation Paris agreement is about mitigation and adaptation about the climate change effects so the 21st conference of parties that is also called as COP21 to the United Nations framework convention on climate change United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, the short form is UNFCCC, which took place in Paris, France in December 2015. So the conference took place in Paris, France in 2015. This is also called as COP21. This is the 21st conference. In this conference, all the 87 members of the UNFCCC have signed the agreement the paris agreement so let's see the aim of paris agreement the aim of paris agreement is to keep the global temperature rise of this century below two degrees celsius that is above pre-industrial levels what does this mean the global temperature rise has to be maintained below 2 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial levels that is before the starting of industrial revolution the temperature at that time and the temperature now should be the difference should be less than 2 degrees Celsius and further it aims to reduce the temperature increase below 1.5 degrees Celsius so how does this uh, this will be obtained this will be achieved by strengthening the abilities of countries to deal with the impact of climate change so countries will be helped to uh, reduce their uh, uh, greenhouse gases or increase the capacity for renewable energy so that the global temperature rise will be below 2 degrees celsius so paris agreement will help the countries to strengthen their ability to deal with impacts of climate change this is the aim of paris agreement so how this will be achieved the control of temperature increase each country will be deciding their nationally determined contributions that is what what does this mean these ndc's that is nationally determined contributions are the goals set by every individual country according to their capacity to contribute to reduce the global temperature rise to below 2 degrees celsius so appropriate financial resources will be provided a new technology framework that is technology needed to reduce the temperature increase and an enhanced capacity building framework will be put into place enhanced capacity building framework that is their capacity to uh, let's say renewable energy production those capacities will be increased so nationally determined contributions Paris agreement requires all parties to put forward their best efforts through nationally determined contributions and to strengthen these efforts in the years ahead. So all parties are bound to decide their NDCs and based on that they should deliver 
in a time bound manner so INDC what is INDC Indian nationally determined contribution so what will be the India's contribution to this Paris Agreement the government of India decided to add the renewable energy capacity to 175 gigawatt by 2021 to 2022 so our renewable energy production will be 175 gigawatt by 2022 so this will result in abatement of 326.22 million tons of co2 equivalent per year so because of this energy renewable energy production the 326.22 million tons of co2 will be uh, will not be released that is this much less pro pollution will happen equivalent to this much uh, 326.22 million tons of co2 equivalent per year so the ambitious solar expansion program government of india is focusing mostly on solar energy production so our aim is to increase this capacity to 100 gigawatt by 2022 and it will be further increased based on our uh, achievement or uh, technology availability so INDC reduction in the emissions intensity of its GDP by 33 to 35 percent by 23 2030 from 2005 level and to create an additional carbon sink of 2.5 to 3 billion tons of CO2 equivalent through additional forest and tree cover by 2030 so what are the different ways of uh, reducing the global temperature rise we have to increase our dependence on renewable energy as well as we have to increase the forest and tree cover so government of india is uh, has set up a target to reduce its uh, emissions intensity to 33 to 35 percent by 2030 of its gdp and it's respective to 2005 levels and additional carbon sink that is the tree cover and forest cover forests are nothing but the carbon sink they they help to reduce the pollutants in the atmosphere so that is also called as carbon sink so the forest will be planted which will be equivalent to reduction in 2.5 to 3 billion tons of co2 equivalent and this this should be achieved before 2030 so let's see next slide so out of the 187 countries which have signed the agreement united states has decided to withdraw from the paris agreement so president donald trump of united states of america has uh, said in one of the conference it's his intentions to withdraw from the Paris Agreement on June 1, 2017. What are, what are the reasons behind it? Because of the unfair economic burden imposed on American workers, businesses and taxpayers by US pledges made under the agreement. So what American government thinks is the terms of the Paris Agreement are too harsh on the American people and they have decided to withdraw from the agreement this doesn't mean that they won't be helping in reduction of the global temperature increase definitely the government uh, American government has decided and delivered to reduce the global temperature rise they have already set some targets and they have achieved reduction in uh, greenhouse gases they have increased the renewable energy production only thing is that they haven't they have withdrawn from the agreement on 4th November 2019 
so they will be contributing to the reduction of global temperature rise but they won't be any more party to the paris agreement but the donald trump has said that president donald trump has said that america will be open to renegotiate the agreement terms which they think according to them are helpful to the economy of the american government and uh, only two countries that have haven't signed the agreement till date are syria and nicaragua these two countries haven't signed the paris agreement syria and nicaragua so let's see the summary of this lecture paris agreement has initiated in 21st conference of parties that is cop 21 to the united nations framework convention on climate change unfccc which took place in paris france in 2015 the aim of the paris agreement is to combat climate change and add up to its effects so they have set a goal of keeping a global temperature rise of this century well below 2 degree celsius above pre industrial levels the temperature rise the temperature increase should be less below 2 degree celsius above pre industrial levels and limit the temperature increase even further to 1.5 degree celsius so after achieving the first goal of below 2 degree celsius the governments will be trying to reduce the temperature increase below to 1.5 degree celsius so each country will be contributing based on their nationally determined contributions india's nationally determined contributions will be renewable energy production of 175 gigawatt by 2022 and solar power capacity of 100 gigawatt by 2022 United States withdrawal from Paris agreement happened on 4th November 2019 so this will be all about the Paris agreement the number of countries 187 countries globally have signed this agreement each country will be contributing based on their uh, nationally determined contributions india's contribution will be 100 gigawatt solar power by 2022 so paris agreement happened in 21st conference of parties in paris france and uh, this is the important topic indian government has uh, has been focusing mainly on the solar energy production so please do go through the lecture one more time if you have any doubts or If you have any corrections, suggestions, please mention those into the comments. We'll be improving our further lectures also. Please do subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching, friends. Namaste.